this is Data Explorer's daily video briefing for Monday the 9th of March and I'm Jessica Johnson. Japan will extend limits on the short selling of stocks beyond the end of this month, two sources said on Friday, as the Japanese economy, the second largest in the world after the United States, struggled to prop up its tumbling stock market. The regulatory financial services agency in Tokyo will maintain limits on short selling, which were introduced in October and scheduled to expire this month, said the sources who spoke on the condition of anonymity because the information had not yet been made public. Stock-specific, and we're going to talk about um, American real estate stocks, um, where there has been a significant rise in the borrow, notably three in particular, Home Properties Inc., Vornado Realty Trust, and Prologis. HME, who focus on the southeast Florida markets of the United States, has seen its shares on loan rise from 17 to 23% of the company since October the 23rd, as the price continues to drop down from 60 to $25. This was preceded by a large amount of short covering down from 25 to 17% between late September and late October. Moving on now to Vornado, which has 12.54 of its shares on loan, up from 8% in October and 10% in late February, again as the price continues to fall down from $100 to $30 since late September. The company was also down 5% on Friday. Stephen Roth, the trust CEO, said it may take as long as four years for commercial real estate to catch up with supply. Prologis, who operate industrial distribution properties, has seen the most dramatic rise in the amount of its shares on loan, up from 8% of the company in October to 21.5% now. The share price has fallen from $45 to $5 since September, with investors coming slightly late to the trade, as you can see from this graph, increasing the borrow after the fall in price. For more information, please visit our website, dataexplorers.com. Many thanks and have a great day.